Go take a little trip inside the future with me. Go take a little dip. Go take a little dive. Get that energy right. We gon' get it together. Cause the car, the cars, the key clarity. The cars, the cars, the key with you need. What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time visiting my channel, welcome to my channel. My name is Toyo, and I'm going to do a pick a car reading. One of my subscribers suggested that I should do um, what is their karma for, I think it was hurting me, but I'm going to do what, it, what is their karma for whatever they did to you, okay? So it can be anything, but what is their karma, okay? So hit that like and subscribe button. We got three piles here. I'm going to zoom in. Um, love you guys so much. Um, and if you would like a private reading by me, if you are subscribed to my channel, just screenshot it. Let me know. And anything on my price list is $10, okay? Basically, any reading is $10. So get that now. Let me know that you subscribe. And this is only for the people that are subscribed to me, okay? So I love y'all. Um, can't wait to connect with y'all. I really genuinely love reading y'all, doing private readings for you guys. It just, I don't know, it just be fun. I feel really connected to y'all. So, yeah, let's get to it. Thank y'all. Bye. What's their comments for hurting you, pile one? So I did do channel messages for each pile. Okay, so you have met someone else is what their karma is going to be, or you're going to meet somebody that is actually for you, okay? So this person's karma is to have to see you with somebody that is genuinely amazing, okay? Uh, you will gain a lot of success, and they have to hear about it or see it. Yeah, you're the pile that you do something creative, or you just are very popular and this person is going to have to see your success okay they're going to see you scroll somebody going to like share your shit they're going to see you on facebook and they're going to be like or one day one of your youtube videos just going to pop up on their timeline they're going to be like or whatever the case somebody going to come up to them and be like did you hear about britney man she got it good she's living amazing and this person going to be like it's almost like they didn't believe all the shit you said, they didn't believe in you. I <laughs> fuck them. So, they're going to have to see your success or they're going to have to hear about it. People are going to talk, okay? It's almost like your song is going to be on the radio. <laughs> and uh, they ain't got no choice but to hear the shit, okay? Um, don't, get, uh, don't get mad when you see me doing what I was doing with somebody else. I mean, doing what I was trying to do with you with somebody else. So, like I feel like a lot of these people are going to have to watch you do what you was trying to do with them with somebody else. Like, you're just going to find a new romantic partner, and this person is going to be on your vibration. They're going to want the same things you want, and you're going to be able to, you know, go on day nights with this person or just chill with this person. Whatever you was trying to do with this person, you're going to be able to do this with your new person, and this person is going to have to see it for some reason. I don't know. Uh, some of you guys are going to be a power couple. Um, some of you guys, it's just for some of y'all, y'all are going to be like a famous couple. Some of y'all are going to be a YouTube couple, but nonetheless, I feel like a lot of people are going to adore your relationship with this new person is what i'm getting like people love that shit they want to know more and this person's just gonna have to see y'all i'm um, sorry my kids have affairs they're they're screaming yeah anyway uh they're going to get cheated on and thrown to the side so some of y'all this person cheated on you and they threw you off to the side like you didn't matter this is exact thing this is about to happen to them okay so we got jump in adrenaline energy adventure say yes to change so you're going to be making saying yes to a lot of changes okay it's like the moment this person detached from you or you have completely healed from this person you're going to be like making a lot of changes, y'all. So, somebody might came, come in and, like, offer you something. You're going to be like, hell yeah, I'm in there. Oh, shit, I'm on a date with you. Whatever the case, y'all just going to be making so many changes, okay? Because it's like you're tired of this person. You're tired of, like, or you're over this person. Some of y'all, y'all could just completely over this person. Some of y'all, y'all just tired of this person being toxic to you or coming in and out is what I'm getting. But you have, most of y'all have already met somebody new. And some of y'all, y'all got somebody coming new. You just got to stay strong. I feel like y'all don't want this motherfucker back anyway. I don't know that. All right, so we got Cardi B. Be careful. I gave you TLC. You want to creep this shit. Okay, this motherfucker got to be careful with you. I feel like you're very spiritually protected, okay? I feel like you're going to have fun anyway. You're going to do whatever you do. Like, 
like I said, you're saying yes to change. You may not be a person that's out there like that or go on dates or do whatever, but now you're making changes, okay? You're like, nah, I'm not gonna, I'm not settling for anything. So this person is it's like you're in that Cardi B energy where she was like, be careful with me. Do you know what you're doing? Who feelings that you're hurting and bruising? Bro, your ancestors is what I'm getting. Like, be careful because this is not somebody who feelings you can hurt because you're about to be fucked up. <laughs> this person's about to be energetically fucked up. I feel like you shared a lot with this person. Poured out my whole heart to a piece of shit. Do you though? Trust me, nigga. It's cool though. That's your energy. Do you though? Trust me, nigga. It's cool though because I'm about to get this dude over here or I'm about to make this money over here or I'm about to start my own business. Whatever you're doing, <laughs> keep doing it because you're saying yes to change. And I feel like you wouldn't be able to do this shit with this person in your energy anyway. Okay, this person is going to try to come back in and apologize. Okay, redemption, forgiveness. This person's like, I'm so fucking sorry. You like, no, it's cool. I, I, I'm, I'm making all these changes. I'm getting this ten of cups right here, okay? I'm getting an all new beginning. I'm getting this family. I'm getting this money. I'm getting this income. Whatever you're striving for, you're going to get it, okay? So this person has to watch that. They they dumb as hell. Some of you guys have literally dived into your spirituality. I do see that looks like an eyeball. It's almost like your third eye has opened up. You're about to receive a lot of abundance or you are already like in this. So some of you guys don't realize that you're already in your abundance is what I'm hearing. Pay attention attention look around look how you're not um lacking anymore with this person around you is what i'm getting and say thanks to spirit you're very spiritual or you have become very spiritual okay and this person wants to be care this person needs to be careful because your ancestors do not play about you yeah this person's a freaking narcissist so this person's going to try to come in and apologize to you but they're not genuine they're not for real okay this person just sees you making these changes having this new beginning and they're going to try to stop it but fuck them yeah so you are going to have a lot of opportunities open up for you okay i feel like you're going to have a lot of people that want to date you on this end and then a lot of money opportunities on this end or you get to move it's like you have so many opportunities because you're detached from this person this person has to watch the wheel turn in your favor okay Okay, so they got to watch the wheel turn in your favor, okay? Look, you don't got stable. Some of you guys are moving to a new home. Some of you guys are getting a new job. Some of you guys just have multiple opportunities. But you have nonetheless gotten stable. Some of you guys have gotten super healthy. Like, you didn't know why you were sick. And it was because this person was in your energy fucking you up, okay? Um, some of y'all, like I said, you have gotten way stable, way more stable without this person is what I'm getting. But this is their karma. They got to watch you with somebody else. They got to watch you become stable. They're going to try to come in and apologize with that narcissistic fake-ass apology, but it's not going to work because I feel like some of y'all are already talking to someone new and this person is showing you what's real, what's, what the new is. But some of y'all, this energy is coming, hold on tight, okay? Some of y'all, y'all don't realize that y'all already talking to y'all new person um it's almost like you starting off with friends with somebody or you just starting real slow with somebody and or you just think somebody is just somebody that's gonna help you get over this person or you thought that this person was gonna do that but this is your person is what i'm getting okay so and what's that karma one more card actually i like these because they're kind of dark <laughs> what's their karma for hurting my pal one because they got them fucked up. Yeah, this person's going to have to watch you, okay? This person's going to have to go through this lesson again. They're going to have to go through the same, like, energy, whatever the hell they did to you. They're going to have to learn this lesson on how not to treat people that way. So if somebody's about to come in and do the same shit to them, hee <laughs> hee. And that's what I get. Love y'all. Thank y'all. Hit the like and subscribe button. And if you would like a personal reading, do not hesitate, okay? They're all $10 for the next three days or the whole weekend basically love y'all bye hey, pal too so what is their karma for doing whatever they did to you so i did channel messages for each pal for you guys i got they wasted your time okay you love this person genuinely and i feel like they just did not give you the same energy at all unrequited love but they still let you love them like i don't know so this person is trash okay uh they were the one Oh, they weren't the one anyway. This person wasn't your person to begin with. No matter what terror... I feel like some of y'all heard that this person was your person, like, on pick a car readings or some shit. This is not your person. This person is a karmic as fuck. Okay? So, fuck them. Okay? <laughs> I feel like I have to defend y'all. Fuck them. Okay? I'm sorry. I just genuinely feel that way. They're a piece of shit. Okay? This person took your peace of mind. Like, I feel like this person took you out of your character. They took your peace of mind. They just knocked you off your path a little bit 
of it says you may feel empty. I feel like you are feeling empty without them. Some of you guys are feeling empty without this person right now. It's almost like you know this isn't your person, but you, that empty feeling you still feel it. And I'm I'm so sorry that this person did that shit to you for real. Um, now what's about to happen is this energy that you're feeling now is about to flip on them. The moment you heal yourself, the faster you heal yourself. Because I'm getting some of y'all are not healed. Some of y'all are still not healed from this. Uh, but a lot of y'all are. And this person is about to start feeling empty without you. Uh, this person will not be able to sleep. This is their karma. They're not going to be able to sleep. Uh, if you tend to... I don't know why I'm getting some of y'all watch their social media. If you watch their social media, you might see that this person is up posting 2, 3, 4 in the morning, okay? And it's because of you, okay? Energy-wise, you're fucking them up. <laughs> Stay far out. Uh, they're going to try to come back, but you'll deny them. So I just feel like this person going to come back and you're just going to be way too woke for this person. You're going to understand that this person is karmic. You're going to already be healed uh, fully. And you're going to be like, ugh. Like if this person, ugh, you're just going to be disgusted. Like, um, And it says you setting them free and you're focusing on yourself. Okay. Um, and I feel like most of y'all, this person recently just hurt you. That's what I'm getting. So we got all past lead home, inner authority, turn your gaze within. Like I said, this is not your person, but don't worry, okay? Because you're walking toward abundance. All paths lead home. It don't matter which path you took to get home, you're on the way home, okay? You're on the right path or by detaching from this person, you're on the right path, okay? Um, so what's this person's? karma thank you next okay you're about to move on you're on the right path and i feel like you're on the path to finding your actual soulmate or your actual person i feel like this is your energy some of you guys should probably be drawn to power one um some of you guys are not drawn to power one but you should go listen to power one because once you get yourself out of this energy power one will be your energy okay is what i'm getting um look what you taught me okay it's like I feel like you're gonna learn your lesson, and this person is not. This person is not gonna learn their lesson. Um, it's almost like they're gonna try to come back in. I feel like you learned your lesson. This person is either gonna have to go through what they put you through, and they're gonna be confused, and it's gonna be a, like hard for them to learn this lesson, even though they be doing this shit to people. Or two, like I said, you learned your lesson. Uh, when it comes to this person and they're going to try to come back and you're not going for it, okay? I'm so fucking grateful for my ex. I feel like you're grateful for this person or you're going to be very grateful for this person. I feel like this person is going to try some, like, argument with you and you're going to be very humble and calm and like, no, I'm grateful for you. I don't hate you. And then they're going to try to come back in as if you accept their apology and you might accept their apology, but you're not going to let them back in. You get what I'm saying? It's almost like you're going to forgive this person to free yourself, or you have forgave this person to free yourself, and they're going to try to come back in because they think that just because you forgive them that they can come in and be in your life again. But you're like, no, I forgive you, but bye, bitch, is what I'm getting. Um, I know they say I move on too fast, but this one going to last because her name is you okay i feel like you did a lot of self-love self-care this song is all about self-love self-care but for the most part i'm getting also some of you guys it says they you move on too fast some of you guys are just ready to move on to the next person okay how she handles pain like you handle pain amazingly like kudos to you i'm really proud of you it seems like this person knocked you off path and you stuck with this person and the moment you realize this person wasn't for you you detached all right, my bad. That was too loud. I could not think. I could not concentrate. So, yeah, you learn from your pain quite quick. You're doing amazing. And this person can see that you're amazing, okay? So, we got death rights. Saying goodbye, a formal occasion, honoring lives. I just feel like you're going to put an end to this. Some of you guys have a baby with this child. For some of y'all, I don't know why I'm getting that this person going to have a miscarriage or they're going to, they had a baby with somebody else and it may not survive or. I don't know. That's kind of a dark message, but that is literally what I'm getting. Like, some of these people, they're going to, they either had a baby on you or doesn't have to be for all y'all. Some of y'all, this person had a baby on you and it's not going to survive. Uh, for others of y'all, you're going to just say goodbye to this person, the old way of living. I feel like you used to baby this person. It's almost like you were taking care of uh, something that isn't even, uh, hell, a demon, a demon child, even though. This will be a lover or whoever the case. It don't even have to be a lover. I didn't specify what type of reading this was. But whoever this was, it's almost like you was taking care of this person. You wasn't realizing that this person isn't a fucking human. They're a demon or some shit. You see the little tail there? 
Yeah, it's almost like you just wasn't realizing you was really caring for this person. I feel like this person is going to, like, I don't know. Why am I here to deteriorate without you? I don't, I'm not saying nobody's going to die. I hope really, I don't like seeing death in the cards, but I just see some crazy shit, okay? So I feel like your confidence is going to get up. Yeah, there's something here with babies, y'all. Um, now, if a baby happens to, like, not make it, you know, I don't know. That's just a karma. I don't know, y'all. But there's something here with a baby of theirs, okay? Um, but the, And I also feel like some of y'all, y'all going to detach from this person, meet somebody else. I feel like this person tried to have a baby with you or you and this person talked about having a baby or this person wanted kids with you. This person going to have to watch you be a mother or a father to somebody else's child. I feel like you're about to get in a committed relationship or you are in a committed relationship. So, yeah, you could definitely resonate with Pal too. Um, and there are going to be babies here. So, for some of y'all, this person really wanted a baby with you, but you're going to um, end up having a baby with someone else. For others of you, this person did something dirty to you. It's almost like they wasted your time. Uh, they thought Thought that, or some of y'all they left you out in the cold and they thought that they would like have a commitment with somebody else and they end up getting somebody pregnant and i just genuinely don't think the baby might make it or whatever the case not for all y'all there's something here about babies here strong this is the parent child card like there's something very strong here about babies okay for some of y'all this is actually your baby father okay um like you have kids with this person for others of you i'm getting um this is like your parent that you're asking about uh, so yeah, let's see. What is that karma for her in how to? Yeah, I feel like this person is gonna realize that you give unconditional love, or um, and that they they messed up is what I'm getting. Yeah, some of y'all, I really am getting like. A, this is why I stopped messing with these cards. I ain't gonna lie, because it, it be making me see in other realms, but I. I ain't going to say that shit. I don't like it. But there's this person need to be careful because you're very spiritually protected. And, yeah, if they hurt you that damn bad and you gave them nothing but love, they want to be careful because, you know, sometimes when somebody's fucking with God's angels that they're not supposed to be doing, it don't look too good for them, okay? This isn't for everybody, but some of y'all, like, they, no. Yeah. So I, for the most part, I'm saying that you guys are just going to be on an adventure. Okay. You guys are going to be meeting new people. Um, I feel like you give unconditional love. You're going to be in a committed relationship with somebody. I do feel like some of y'all are going to be having babies when this person wanted to have babies with you. Um, others of you, uh, this is your parent. And yeah, that's what I'm getting. Okay. Because I don't want to go too deep because this is kind of dark. This is like dark. And like, I feel like this person fucked with you. Yeah. But for the most part, you're going to be finding balance without this person. Yeah. You're making, you're you're going to be making a lot of changes, okay? I feel like you're detaching from this person. And also what I'm getting from the death is you're going to be having an inner death. You're going to be doing a lot of transformations, okay? Um, and this is leading you, like, down your right path. And you're already on the right path. It's leading you toward the abundance on your path. You're like, oh, shit, I see the abundance clear as fuck without this motherfucker blocking the way. And the whole time, <laughs> that's what I'm getting. I love y'all, okay? Let me know if it's resonated with y'all. Like I said, that dark energy, I don't know. Y'all y'all be able to sense what's for you. But for the most part, I see that this person has to watch you. And they're going to try to come back. <laughs> they're going to kind of come back and call you for some type of help. And you're going to be like, yeah, no, I mean, you're cool and all. But we're not friends. Like, I don't hate you. I just don't fuck with you. And they're going to be like, but, 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 why? Okay, so that's what I'm getting. I love y'all. Thank y'all. Bye. All right, Papri, so what is their karma for doing whatever they did to you? So I did channel messages for each pile. Okay, so you guys, I did actually pick up on a few names. So if it resonates with you, please comment down below because this is very specific. Okay, so I got a Jesse here. I have a Chloe here. I have a Haley here. I have a Jay here. I have a Jaheem here. I have a Hallie here. Um, those are all the names, okay? For some of y'all, it says this will be confirmation. I feel like this whole reading is going to be for confirmation for anybody uh, who watches it. Um, this person is going to be constantly thinking about you. This person cannot stop thinking about you. This person knows that they hurt you. They know they hurt your feelings. They know what they did, bro. This person knows. Uh, this person is going to try to fly to you or travel to you or just come meet up with you some way. Um, I feel like...
like this person actually had you stuck and you didn't realize why you wasn't moving forward. It was this person. It says you'll be unstuck while they'll be stuck. It's almost like karma's just balancing itself out. This person's energy was keeping you stuck while your energy was rising them up. They was draining you. They were stealing your energy, bro. This person was stealing your energy. This person had you stuck as fuck. You couldn't manifest shit. And they were manifesting everything. And it's all because they was connected to you. This person was draining you, stealing your energy, bro. A complete energy vampire. Um, so now it's balancing itself back up. You're giving this person their energy back. Like, fuck you. <laughs> That's what I'm getting. Um, this person didn't really express their love anyways. I do feel like they had feelings for you, but they did not express that shit. Um, so it says need a switch up or a change. And I feel like you had a hard time detaching from this person. But I feel like, like I said, the energy is flipping. However you are feeling, this person is going to be feeling. So if you had a hard time detaching, this person is going to suddenly realize that they want to be attached to you. And you're not going for that shit. So we got messenger. Serious energy bringing harmony and balance. Like I said, uh, now that you're detaching this person, this person has to watch you be harmonized. You're getting your energy back. Everything's being balanced back out. This is your energy. If this person, if you feel like this person did me dirty and they're still getting abundance. What's, what's going on? I didn't even do anything wrong to this person. Am I going through karma? Blah, blah, blah. No, you gave this person your energy and now things are being balanced back out. Okay, so you're getting your energy back. Okay, you're going to be able to manifest the way you're supposed to or you're meant to. So we got Beyonce, ring the alarm. I'd be damned if I see another chick on your arm. She's going to take everything I own if I let you go. <laughs> This person going to try to come back fast as hell, okay? And I feel like some of y'all, they may be concerned about you being with somebody else. But for the most part, this person knows that they still stole your energy, bro. They, I don't know if this person's psychic or they just a fucking demon. or But this person knows what they did to you, bro. I don't know what they did, like how they did it. But they knew that they was draining you and they was taking your abundance. And like an energetic, I don't know, is this person like a witch? Or they know witchcraft or they know energy or something this person knows that they was draining your finances or something bro some of y'all they was just doing it energetically some of y'all they know that they was going to your pockets or they was being a scrub a boogaboo and i feel like you liked them a lot and you was letting them do this shit but it says she gonna take everything i own if i let you go but i feel like anything that this person has you bought that shit or you gave them that shit or they used your energy to get that shit okay so everything that this person owns Especially if you met this person, they didn't have shit when you first met them. They only have this shit because they connected with you energetically and stole your fucking energy. Everything that they own, it really belongs to you energetically. It's so fucked up. But this person knows how to transmute energy and steal people's energy. And this person did that to you. Okay? So, I don't want you, but I want it. So, I can't let it go. So, yeah, this person's going to try to come back. They don't want you, but they want your energy. They want your abundance. They want whatever it is that you have. So, we got the monster within eternal struggle, personal changes, wanting to improve. This person is going to go through a lot of eternal struggles, okay? I feel like this person plays you like a fiddle in the past. <laughs> And now, they're from, they play, but in all actuality, they play, they fucking self. This person is going to go through a lot of inner turmoil. This person is going to want to improve themselves, but they're not going to be able to raise their vibration. They're not going to be able to manifest because, bro, they, they are demons. I don't know. It's almost like they cannot manifest this shit for themselves. This person, we got the hangman is in reverse. I feel like, like I said, you were stuck for some reason and this person was stealing your energy and like it's like they were receiving the abundance that was meant for you in some sort of way. This person was stealing your energy, bro. Um, and now they're about to be in the stuck energy. They're about to be like, whoa, they're, they're going to try to come towards you. Okay. Yeah, some of you guys are an older woman. You really took care of this person. For some of y'all, this person is an older woman. Uh, but for the most part, I'm getting that y'all are older woman and that you took care of this person. You may be older than them. You may be just more mature than them. Um, you don't have to necessarily be older than them. But there's a more mature energy about you. And it's like you love to help people. And this person was just draining you of your money, like I said, or your energy. Like I said, if you seem like this, if it seemed like this person was getting blessed, even though they hurt you, it's because somehow they was transmuting your energy. Yeah, this person smokes or drinks, okay? Um, this person may have used your money to buy liquor. Some of y'all, they may have used your money to buy, like, weed or other drugs, okay? But what I'm getting is this person was using the shit out of you. And they don't want you, but they want whatever that fuck you was providing. Or whatever money you had to get these drugs or this alcohol or whatever they had. Um, 
Yeah, that's what I'm getting. Yeah, this person, you're detaching from this person. But I feel like it's because you realize you have the entire ocean. Yeah, they they, are, they have these nine cups here. But them bitches are empty is what I'm getting. <laughs> them bitches are empty. And you have you actually have the ocean, okay, is what I'm getting. I feel like this person was a snake. And they tricked you to believe that they had abundance. Or they fooled you to believe that the abundance they're receiving was theirs. But it was really yours, my nigga, is what I'm getting. And this person needs you. You in the water surviving just fine, abundant as hell. Coochie wet and everything if you're a female. <laughs> I do feel like this person has a big thing, though. I don't know why I'm getting, like, a lot of sexual energy here. This person going to try to come back for sex. Um, and I feel like you may have uh, fell for this shit in the past. And it may not necessarily be fell for it. I just feel like you want to have sex with this person, too, probably. Um, but... This person was draining you sexually. So, y'all, if y'all end up having sex with this person or you were having sex with this person, even if you no longer like this person, you got to stop having sex with them because they're draining you. This person's a snake, okay, even if they got a big snake. Yeah. So, <laughs> we got to choose your battles here. I feel like um, you have options is what I'm getting. This person has to watch you have options. It, it seems like you're going to move on from this person. They know it. Yeah, you have options, but I also feel like you're protecting yourself from this person and your options. You're like, I don't know what's genuine. I don't know what's true. So right now, I want to focus on myself. Yeah. <laughs> Right now, I want to focus on myself, my self-love, my self-care, getting this abundance, okay? Because I'm, I'm going to get this abundance is what I'm hearing. Yeah, you're going after this new beginning right here. This person wants to come back in like, bro, we got kids. We got goats and shit. Fuck them goats. Shit. We got kids. We got goats. Just talk to me. Just talk to me. You like, eh, I, I don't know. I got too much coin. And spirit sitting there watching you like, is she going to pass the test because I got all these coins for her? If she if she let this motherfucker go, we can give her her abundance back. Is what I'm getting. We can give him his abundance back. So y'all really got spirits sitting there watching y'all. Okay, so y'all got like a little kid, a cute little son. Yeah, this person's gonna try to come back in. Like, I'm broke. Can you can you give me some money? Or they just gonna try to come back in and not say shit like just smoke your blunt or take your weed they're gonna try to ease their way back into your life but i feel like you're the hermit you're more to yourself and this is your energy you like stay the fuck away from me okay i'm not going through this shit again <laughs> you funny as fuck <laughs> or, or am i funny the way i'm saying it it's funny yeah but you're very gifted okay i feel like you're receiving gifts or you're gonna be receiving gifts by being in this energy by making sure that this person don't come in and fuck with you by making sure this you don't let this person bomb off you anymore is what i'm getting like i feel like this person had a big ass facade they was like yeah man i got so much money i i'll be selling this this and this i got this, this i got my own business i'm gonna do this and you were like, okay, I believe in you. But the whole time, like, you really was the one with the abundant energy. You really was the one putting in work or having taken the action. Yeah, and that's what I'm getting. That's their karma. This person's just going to have to uh, watch you be abundant and get your energy back. And then they're, this is going to be their energy. They're going to be your energy. They're going to be their energy. This was their energy. Or you may be looking at them like this right now. And you may feel like this is you right now. But take your energy back. So transmute that shit. Pray. Tell Spirit, Universe, God, anybody stealing my energy, blah, blah, blah. You know, say what you got to say. Uh, I wouldn't send the energy back because sometimes you don't know where the energy coming from. Uh, but then if you know it's coming from them, which it looks like they were stealing your energy, you can send that shit back. All right. Love y'all. Thank y'all. Hit the like and subscribe button. Thank you. Yeah. Bye.